Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, today's video is gonna be talking a little bit about a little new undertaking I'm gonna be trying to do. And um, so I signed up for my first BFL, um, which is part of the Phoenix Bass Fishing League. It's kind of the lower lowest level um, tournament of major league fishing. So uh, there's a tournament coming up at Lake of the Ozarks on the 24th and 25th of September, uh, 2022. And uh, I basically signed up for just this last Saturday. Um, you know, it's something I've thought about doing for a couple years actually now. I just never got around to doing it. Part of it is just whether it's just, I don't know if it's just being nervous or whether it's just I don't know what to expect. Um, I mean, I have a little bit of know what to expect because I've watched some videos on YouTube, but, um, but it's going to be a new adventure for me. And um, so anyways, you can definitely look forward to that with some, hopefully some content coming forward from that trip. Um, you know, like I said, I may not have content from the actual day itself because since it is a competition, you know, with the boater that I'm fishing with, I mean, if, you know, I got to ask for permission before I'm going to be like videotaping anything or trying to, cause I don't want to get on anybody's bad side. So, you know, and with these kind of tournaments, people might not want to go have, you're going to their best spots and showing that kind of stuff. So, you know, I, I totally get all that. So to me, it's just going to be a learning experience. Um, but also it's just kind of the fun of competition and, you know, I'm just going to go down and see what I can do. So anyways, um, so I got some new equipment that I'm going to be using for that and uh, adding kind of to my tackle bag here. So we'll kind of go ahead and talk about that here in a second. All right. So the boater, they may not supply everything for you, right? It's like, that's fine. So you got to bring everything that you are going to bring. And I need to have it for myself just in case, you know. So, so I went ahead and bought one of these uh, automatic inflatable PDFD. Um, I got this one. It was actually on Bass Pro Shops or Cabela's and they're usually were 150 60 bucks. I think it was so I don't know if they're discontinuing it But they had them on sale for like $69 uh, And I just bought this literally this last week and um, one of the reasons I got it is I have some other life vests that I could use um, But I got this one because it is Coast Guard approved type 2 and so what's at least good with that is there's four different types There's one two three four and um, four is gonna be the least uh, I mean, I don't want to call it less safe, but type two is going to be like if you were knocked unconscious, like, you know, when you're going in these boats, I could be in somebody's boat and we're going 70 miles an hour, you know, not that it's super common, but if you were to have a crash and you were knocked unconscious, you know, if I was just in a normal jet ski or, you know, like a foam life jacket, you know, there's a pretty good chance that you could be just laying face down in the water. So although it'll keep you floating, you're going to be, you know, you might drown anyways. So from researching this one and there's probably some other ones out there too um i just liked it they looked like they had a discounted price on it and it still had the type 2 performance um so basically if it was it should automatically inflate um i might do a little video showing how you can actually arm this thing i gotta put the co2 cartridge in it to get it armed because when you go underwater it activates it sets off the co2 cartridge and then basically in, in, these things puff out with a little flotation and you know keep your head above water and it should with it being type 2 it says that it should be able to turn your head over so if you were face down you should be able to turn to have your face facing up so that was kind of what was important to me um, for that and then I also got myself my own um, bump board so they had them like not too expensive I don't know it was like eight or nine dollars seven dollars whatever it was I ordered online when I got this, I got free shipping. Um, so that way, in case the boater that I might get up paired up with doesn't have, uh, you know, it doesn't have a bump board, which most do, but I don't want to assume, um, you know, then at least I have one for measuring fish that they have to be at least 15 inches for large mouth or small mouth, or it needs to be at least 12 inches for a spotted or Kentucky bass. Um, so that way I know for sure. So. Anyways, so that's kind of the two new things that I've kind of added to my gear. I'm just going to be able to stick this inside of my main zipper pouch, and it'll just fit down inside my uh, backpack here. And then, yeah, I'm going to have to try and get that thing armed and ready to go for the life jacket. But anyway, super excited about it. Um, I don't know for sure if I'm going to make it in or not because it does. Um, I'll talk a little about that maybe in another video, but right now I'm actually fourth on the wait list. 
as a co-angler, so I would need four more boaters to sign up. Um, so I might go a little bit more into depth into another video of kind of the process of this. This is my first time going through it. So I might make like a playlist of some of this uh, co-angler type stuff. So since this will be my first time possibly doing one, because like I said, I'm not all the way in the tournament yet. So anyways, um, so there you go. So that's two of my new pieces of equipment that I got. And it's basically just specifically for fishing tournaments. Um, although the life vest could be used for other things too, but um, definitely really don't need the bump board. Except for tournaments, I have tape measures, but that way it's just going to be a quick, easy way to check to see if it's 15. And it's for sure 15 because the tape measure and stuff, it might not be completely straight. So, you know, you don't want to take a fish thinking it's 15. You get there and then you get penalized because it's actually too short. So, anyways, so that was just kind of a video for today. Like I said, I'm going to try and get a little more in depth. Uh, hopefully I get into the tournament. And if I do, um, you know, I'm going to try and do document just a little bit of preparation leading up to it and maybe how it goes and all that kind of stuff so anyway so if that interests you i definitely uh encourage you to hit that like button uh definitely give a subscription if you want to follow along see how things go um but anyways hope everybody's doing well until next time talk to you later bye